I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, 24th of September, getting set to cruise into a weekend, and we are on the verge of a change toward cooler and wetter weather for the Deep South. And that's a good thing. Uh, let's look at some of the Skycam shots early this morning. First off from Inverness. That's the view there from the Wingate Inn overlooking northern Shelby, southern Jefferson counties. The sky's clear. And Walker County, that's the Walker County Courthouse in downtown Jasper. And down south, that's the Clanton City Hall in Chilton County. Well, don't look for a big change today. We still got ridging in place here. So again, uh, low 90s are likely, but notice the strong trough up north. And uh, that's going to pull down some pretty cool air. In fact, look at the numbers from yesterday. Up north, uh, some folks in North Dakota never got out of the 40s. Yeah, buddy. And uh, of course, down here, we were blazing, blistering with highs in the uh, low and mid 90s again. In fact, look at the uh, Louisville, Kentucky, they've got up in the mid-90s up there. Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, but again, uh, this heat bubble is about to pop, thank goodness. Uh, there's rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, and the amounts, uh, you can see a pretty sharp gradient across the state. The heavier totals near the Georgia border, the lesser amounts near the Mississippi border. And the axis of the really good rain all depends on where this upper low sets up. And again, there's been a little model madness involved in that. And the tropics uh, will be, of course, something we'll have to watch closely for the next few weeks. We've got uh, Tropical Storm Lisa in the far east Atlantic. Tropical Storm Matthew approaching Central America. And that little 0% circle out there is what's left of Julia, the former hurricane. Uh, Lisa's a long way out there and it's going to stay out there. Uh, it just kind of drifts north and doesn't do anything through next week, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, this is the one to watch. This is uh, Matthew, the uh, tropical storm. Estimated winds are at 50 miles per hour, and the thing is basically on the coasts of northern Nicaragua and Honduras now, and uh, here's the deal. It gets inland, and the steering current just kind of collapse. And it just sits down there before a trough up here picks it up and moves it northeast. Um, the intensity models are all over the board. Some, the one that leaves it and over the water ramps it up. Most of them have it close enough to land or inland to where it's just a depression. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. And uh, they bring it in uh, later today to uh, Honduras, briefly gets back over the water comes up into the coast of Belize and then uh, drifts north. And by Tuesday night of next week, they've got the thing inland over the Yucatan is a tropical depression. And again, uh, I st th there's a good chance this thing will survive and be a problem for South Florida, as you'll see. Let's look at the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock today. And again, ridging down here. Uh, the westerlies are up north. So the weather doesn't change much today. Low 90s. And any showers later today should be very isolated. So most high school stadiums will not have rain tonight for the high school games. And you will not need a jacket. It's going to be pretty hot out there. Uh, cold front trailing from the uh, surface low you see there. Now tomorrow, the surface front kind of sags down toward North Alabama. And that should bring an increase in the number of showers and storms. But still, they will be scattered. Uh, it's not going to rain everywhere, and it's not going to rain all day. Just... Uh, if you're going to an in-state football game tomorrow, you might want to take along the rain gear just in case. And again, uh, Alabama plays up in Arkansas. They should be in great shape. Sunny with a temperature in the uh, upper 70s up there at kickoff. Looks like a great deal uh, for the Auburn game. Again, there could be a shower or storm, but I don't think rain will be a big problem. All right, Sunday, here comes our upper low uh, developing to the northwest of the state. Down below that, that's when we should see a good increase in the number of showers and storms. And uh, accordingly, the heat levels begin to come down because of the clouds and rain. Uh, we note the GFS is spitting out a high of 83 uh, for Birmingham on Sunday. Sounds pretty good. Go to Monday. The upper low sets up uh, pretty close to us now. We, we, we'd actually like to see that axis a little farther west. And down below that, that's going to be a close call. And again, you can see why the rain amounts will taper off. Uh, the Mississippi border might not get that much Monday, but the Georgia border could be soaked. But we'll maintain a pretty good chance of showers and storms on Monday, although this run suggests maybe the rain will not be quite as extensive. A Sunday night could be our target for the rain. 
Uh, the Monday high should be only around 80. Many spots could stay in the 70s all day. We'll check the NAM just for a different look, and it's very similar. It's got the uh, main upper low really near Columbus, Mississippi. And again, it's got the axis of heavy rain Monday off to the uh, east over Georgia. So uh, it might be Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. That'll be our main target time for the rain, with the rain perhaps uh, diminishing Monday and moving east. And then by Tuesday, back to the GFS, it's gone. We dry slot. And uh, at this point, we'll pretty much uh, go in that direction and indicate a clear sky. The GFS is showing a high of 76 degrees on Tuesday. That's great. A low Tuesday morning of 57. Uh, there's Wednesday of next week. We're dry. Uh, probably low 80s. Thursday of next week, we're dry. Here comes our tropical storm, Matthew, down there, lifting up toward the western tip of Cuba. And I do think it survives, and I think this is very plausible. Uh, here's a look at the uh, 2nd of October, the uh, Saturday, a week from tomorrow. Look at the trough over the east. I'm telling you, this is going to bring some cool air down here if this all works out. Down below that, we've got uh, Matthew as either a tropical storm or a hurricane. It's come up uh, through Key West in Miami. It's just uh, east of Fort Lauderdale. And look at the thickness values come down. Uh, and then on the 3rd of October, Matthew is kind of rolling up the eastern seaboard with all kind of mischief, the 540 line down to uh, uh, West Virginia and Ohio. That might be a day with highs only in the 60s here with a nice north breeze. Yeah, buddy. And on the 4th, it kicks out. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 9th of October. Uh, the core of the westerlies a little north of us, and down below that uh, uh, fairly uneventful weather, another tropical system shows up down there on the coast of Cuba. But again, modeling has been very consistent that Matthew misses us to the east, and our best hope for some rain will be this upper low feature uh, Sunday, Sunday night, into uh, Monday morning of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.